Hello, I'm Andrew from ExcelTactics.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to combine or concatenate data from multiple rows into a single cell. We'll start with data that has many rows with similar columns, like these car makes, and combine them into a list separated by commas, like you see here. To get started, we need to sort the data. Select all of the rows and columns by either holding Control and Shift and using the arrow keys, or by clicking and dragging down. Go to the Data tab and choose the Sort button from the menu. Sort by all of the columns, starting with the ones that you want to keep in the concatenated list. Warnings like this one don't matter for our data set, but if your data set has numbers and text, make sure you know how they want to be sorted. It's usually safe to choose sort anything that looks like a number as a number. We are going to build a list based on the model names in this data set. So create a new column called models. To build our comma separated list, we are going to use a simple if statement. In the first row of the models column, press equals, type if, and open a parentheses. You can see that Excel helps you with the inputs it needs in the drop-down box. First, we must provide a test. We are going to see if the make of the vehicle in this row is the same as the make in the vehicle in the last row. If this is true, we can add that model to the list. If the make in the last row is different from the make in this row, that means we're starting a new manufacturer and we need to start a new list. So we'll just use this row. When you've completed the formula, press enter. Since this is the first row of the Acura section, we only see the first model name. We are going to repeat this formula on every row of our spreadsheet. Click on the cell with the formula in it. Click and hold in the bottom right corner of that cell and drag the formula down through your entire spreadsheet. You can see that the formula has built a growing list of all of the models for each make and started over each time it encountered a new make. We only want to keep the longest list, that is, the list with all of the items in it. But since it's sorted, that's always going to be the last item for each make. Let's start another helper column to determine which item is the last in the list for each make. We'll call this our check column. We'll use another if statement. If the make in this row is not equal to the make in the next row, then this is the last column. Otherwise, it isn't, and we'll put blank quotations. Just as with the last helper column, we're going to copy this formula down. I'll show you a keyboard shortcut to select all of the rows at once. First, copy the formula in the cell that you wrote it, then move to a column that has data in every row, hold Control, and press the down arrow. This will take you to the bottom of your list. Press the right arrow to move back to the check column, and then hold Control and Shift when you press the up arrow again. This will select all of the cells in between the bottom of the list and the place where you just placed your formula. Press Control V to paste, and the formula will be repeated all of the way down your list. You can see that it only says last in the final row of each make. Next, we're going to sort this data to bring all of the last fields to the top. But since these are formulas, they will recalculate every time we move the rows around. To keep this from happening, we're going to select both of our helper columns and paste the data into them as text rather than formulas. Select both of the helper columns with your keyboard or with your mouse. Press Control C to copy that data. Go to the Home tab, click the down arrow by paste, and click Paste Values in the middle row. The data stayed the same, but now 
the formulas are gone. The last thing we have to do is bring all of the completed lists to the top. Select all of the columns in your spreadsheet that have data. Click on the Data tab. Click Sort. This time, we are going to sort by the Check column first, and we'll change the order to Z to A so that last shows before blank. Then we'll sort by the Make. Now you can see that all of the last columns appear first, followed by our incomplete lists below. Since we only want the last columns, we can safely delete the other rows. We can also delete the model column and the check column. Select them both by holding the control while clicking the columns. Right click and choose delete. Now you have neatly comma-separated rows for all of your data. This Excel tutorial was taken from an article on exceltactics.com. Go there to read through the steps, check formulas, and find new tutorials. If you found this helpful, click to like this video and subscribe to Excel Tactics on YouTube to see all of our new Excel tutorials. Excel Tactics wouldn't exist without support from people like you. Our videos and articles will always be free to watch and read, but if you want to help us create new content, you can become a patron of Excel Tactics at patreon.com. Every little bit helps. Thanks for watching.